This is an ABC color presentation. turned up in uniform, ribbons and all. He'd been trying to re-enlist. Special forces, they turned him down. Psychological instability. He'd served a year in a North Korean prisoner of war camp. Yeah, but your report states that prior to his escape this morning, he'd been under intensive psychiatric care. Most men don't go to pieces when they're turned down for military service. It isn't the first time. Lufton's been trying to re-enlist since Korea. I guess this last rejection did it. He couldn't take it. They sent him here. Sergeant, you must realize that this man is emotionally ill. He's also dangerous. He's unarmed. He's a trained killer. If you find him, if would you If we find him, we'll only use the force necessary to bring him in, Doctor. In Korea... You don't have to tell me about Korea. You character. You're early. <gasps> Who's our Sherry? Who are you? Oh, come on, Sherry. Don't kid me. Sherry, I don't even know a Sherry. You get out of my house. <laughs> Sherry, I tried to get there. I never saw you before in my life. <laughs> She's still in shock, Sam. Have this run off on the APB. What are you going to do? 
couple of million years ago, and Sergeant Sanford left and hung on to a pass at Hagaru so a bunch of miserable frozen GIs could make it to the sea. Cold. The oil would freeze in your carbon. If you were hit, you wouldn't bleed. Well, this morning he half killed a nurse and two orderlies and stole a hospital car. And now I've got to find out why before we go out and maybe have to pull a trigger to stop him. You must know that's not me. We never had a date. 1950, I was too young. Sherry, I, I, I was on my way to meet you, but uh, they struck so quick that... Oh, look, Mr. Sergeant. I don't even know your name. Sandy, you know that. Oh, Sherry, I knew you'd wait. Wait? Oh, when I saw your little brother outside, I admit I was shook up. Little brother? That little boy isn't my brother. Because if I thought that you'd get married, if, if I thought you didn't wait, I... <laughs> come on, we're, we're going to keep our date today. Oh, I couldn't go out with you today. Maybe tomorrow. Today, Sherry. Sue! Sue! Who's that? It's my... father. He, he won't let me go out with you, Sue. You, you might as well go. Well, I'll ask him then. No! No, uh... All right. I'll go out with you. Just for a little while. Okay. Daddy, that I had to go. Tell him! No, no, I want to go. No, I want to go. Daddy, Daddy! Daddy! Hey, 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 old buddy, wait a minute. This is city property. You don't want to wreck it for us, do you? Hey, Sam. Dad. Did you want to tell me? No. Didn't want to worry him until we were positive. You been checking the house? Yeah. She didn't come back yet. Come on. This is Sergeant Stone, Detective Briggs. Arthur Bradley. And this is Mike. Hi, Mike. Mike, who are you? I'm Jim. How are you, Mike? Fine. Say, have you ever seen this man before? He's the man who took Mommy in the car. Thank you, Mike. Who is this? Say, Mike, if it's uh, okay with your dad, we'll get some ice cream, huh? Come on, go. 
Bradley, uh, is your wife a blonde? Yes, but you happen to have a picture of her. Yes, I do. They used to kid me about your picture, Sherry. <laughs> My men. Oh, they were. They're, they're a great bunch. Uh, Jerry, my corporal, he always said that you already had a guy. But, but he, was, he was always very shy around gals. <laughs> Sandy, don't you? It's pretty potent stuff you're drinking. You kidding? I, Carver and I, we used to go through six or eight of these in one sitting. Man, he was big. He was the best eye with a mortar in the whole company. Oh, we were a great fighting crew. There was Jerry, and there was Champ, and then the mortar kid, Carver, and then there was Headley. Uh, well, he, he was with me when, when I met you, Sherry. And, uh, he, he was small, he was skinny, and he, and he was always cold. I used to loan him my sweater and my scarf, and he was always shivering. <laughs> I don't know, I, I thought if we ever got the... If, if, we ever got to getting married, uh, I'd ask him to be the best man, Sherry. <laughs> uh, ready for another round? No, 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 thanks. Uh, we're all right. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you like amusement parks? Not really. Look, Sandy, I've got to get home. Maybe tomorrow night, okay? No, Sherry. I've, I've always liked all the rides, ever since I was a kid. The Ferris wheel, the, even the merry-go-round. Please, Sherry. Okay. Office, Sergeant Briggs. Yeah, it's right here. Sam, it's for you. Stone. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be right over. They just left some beer joint for the amusement park. Did you say that uh, Mr. Bradley and uh, Mike get home, all right? Sure. Finally, uh, I'll run you home in just a minute. Go easy, Sam. He was an instructor in hand-to-hand -hand combat for two years. He may not be easy to take. You just worry about getting that girl out of there. Let me handle him. You understand, Jim? Come on now, 
Oh, Sherry, now, don't make a ruckus here. You're going to get a lot of hurt around here. Sandy, you've got to take me home. Now. Why? Why? i got a lot of these tickets left. Don't forget, i got a lot to make up to you. You've got nothing to make up to me for. Well, you don't have to be nice to me, Sherry, because I stood you up, and that's that. Sandy. Sandy. Tell me about that night in Korea when we were supposed to meet. It was quiet, cold night. I thought of you waiting for me freezing in that USO tent, Sherry. And I, I begged the lieutenant for a pass, but he said no. And I went anyway. I, I went AWOL for you, Sherry. I didn't get there, but I sure tried. Sandy! I didn't mean to stand you up, Sherry. Well, no, Sandy, you didn't stand me up. I wasn't there that night either. You see, I couldn't make it, so you... Even Steve... Take me home. <laughs> Come on, Sherry. Just to bring him here, right? Sherry. Please. I'm not Sherry. You want to know why I wasn't there, Sherry? On the road to Hung Nam, I heard my men firing in the pass, and I went back there. And when I got there, they were all dead. Jerry, Champ, the big mortar kid Carver, even Headley, all dead. And I wasn't with them. I get back that pass, Sherry. They were all dead. Jerry and Champ. They captured me. I spent a year in a POW camp. And the only thing that kept me alive was that picture I had of you, Sherry. It was your fault I went AWOL, Sherry. All those men. My men, dead, for no reason. Just to keep our date. Bradley! Chad! 
There's no one left to blame. Come on. Give me the knife. I shouldn't have left them. I should have been there. I should have died with those guys. I should have died. I should have died. Going to be all right? Yes, thanks to you too. Under the circumstances, he might have been killed. Sergeant, did you ever see Sherry Marble perform at Korea? I saw a lot of girls just like her. Lufton had her picture for that whole year in the POW camp. She became a fixation. He poured everything into that one single image. His own guilt, his loneliness. And she didn't even know he existed. You mean he was just another one of those thousands of G.I.s that watched her sing? It's not so strange, Jim. I've got a picture someplace. Different girl, but just like his. He should be up and around in a few days and back in treatment with me. We'll have a lot more to talk about. You really think he's going to make it? I think so. No, I think so. Take good care of him, Doc. Or I'll see too that you get a traffic ticket every time you get behind the wheel of your car. <laughs> the Felony Squad has been brought to you by.
when you enter the time tunnel, almost anything can happen. The Time Tunnel, in color on ABC.